Thank you for calling Family Christian during our closing sale. This is Kara. How may I serve you? Hey, Carol. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office. Hi. Hi. Hey, um, I was just trying to find out, um, for, uh, were you uh, giving 10% of your, your uh, paycheck to the ties at church? I am not. Oh. You were looking for somebody uh, who is? No, well, no, I'm just basically, I was just thinking, you know, if, if you didn't do that, then that's probably why we're going bankrupt, because you didn't, you, oh. you weren't... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, actually, I decided a... the real reason is because God had another plan for me, and I wouldn't leave. Yeah. So he decided to close the whole company. Okay, yeah, so it's That's all about you. You're, you're not narcissistic yeah. at all. No. <laughs> no, no, I think it's actually because uh, the Bible says you're supposed to give 10% of your money, and, and you weren't doing it. So so thanks That's a lot. It. Thanks Thanks for nothing. <laughs> That's got to be it. I hope you enjoy your, your new plan. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is yet. He hasn't told me. Okay. Hey, I'm going to put my new supervisor on real quick. Um, can you just okay. hold on? Yeah. Hello. Well, hello. Well, this, this is, is uh, Satan from, from the corporate, corporate office. office. And I'll, I'll be your uh, CEO for the remainder of uh, the company being in business. Okay? Okay? I can't understand what he's saying. <sighs> He, he said his name's Satan, and he'll be your, your new CEO for the remainder. Oh, Th- that's what it is. Thanks, oh, for, ruining, thanks for ruining the joke. <laughs> All right, I'm hanging up on you. Okay. Bye. Hey, what are you doing? Getting Bye. a bag of chips? What's that in the background? Oh, I'm unloading some... Uh, Eating some Fritos? Some, uh, no, some uh, cupcakes <laughs> and Jesus keychains. Oh, of course. Yeah, what was I yeah, thinking? Yeah, I hear yeah, okay. Yeah, it okay. Like chips, All right, bye. It wouldn't taste very good. I'm leaving. Bye. I got to go. I got other people to fire. everyone you're listening to the snowplow show for november 14th 2018 this is episode 510 it's sponsored by brown magic Gobi, high school graduate lord and lady of veggies and sean l thanks all five slash six of you for being supporters of the show that's really nice of you also thanks to the new supporters like Stephen o and cool dude That's just his Patreon name. I don't know if he's actually a cool dude or not. He might be a complete spaz for all we know. But thanks both of you for signing up this week. You both now have access to the Hobo Sodes. It's a show I do just for the paying members at least once a week. Like yesterday, I did one called Rent vs. Immortality. It has about a 20 minute long prank call in it, which I'm usually not a big fan of long prank calls, but I kind of enjoyed that one. And then before that, on the 8th, there was the Buffalo Wild Wings show. Hobo Sode number 141, and a day before that was the Tunnel Property Disputes. That's one where I took an idea that I had in a snowplow show that I completely forgot to do in that show, and I did that a bunch in that Hobo Sode. That was kind of fun. So if you want to hear extra shows, please sign up for the Hobo Sodes at patreon.com slash phone losers. Actually, the Tunnel Property Disputes is free to everybody because I release every 10th one to the public. I have at least one announcement here. And that involves Olga Draws Dragons over at patreon.com slash Olga Draws Dragons. Her and King Richard and I Regret Jumping do a PLA-based comic strip. And most of them have been just for the paying members of her Patreon. But guess what? If you're a paying member of her Patreon, you can stop doing that now because she's making those available for free to everybody. I think that's what she told me. Isn't that what you said, Olga? That everyone should unsubscribe from your Patreon? She's going to be reposting all of the comic strips starting on Monday, which was two days ago. It looks like she did that two days ago. Or wait, no, she did that yesterday. And yeah, a bunch of PLA comic strips. I think I'm going to steal the latest one for my show art today. It looks like it has killer robots and microwaves in it. I think I'm allowed to do that now. Right, Olga? So go take a look at patreon.com slash Olga Draws Dragons for the PLA comic strip and other stuff such as dragons that Olga draws. And I was just kidding about unsubscribing from her Patreon. Don't do that. You should support the PLA comic strip so more of them happen. 
the XYZ archive is coming along nicely. Several people in the PLA Facebook group have provided links to file sharing things and drop boxes and all that stuff. And I now suddenly have 11 gigs of XYZ shows to try and sort through. So thank you, everybody, who's been helping out with that. I will put a link in the show notes to that thread on the PLA Facebook group if you want to download some of those or go contribute to the archive. I listened to a couple episodes of those the other day while I was trying to rename the files and stuff. And holy crap, he did quite possibly the funniest Lunk Alarm prank that I've ever heard. I'm kind of tempted to put that on today's show. Maybe instead of an ending song, I'll do XYZ's Lunk Alarm Call. Maybe, I don't know, let's see how long the show ends up being today. It looks like I missed the Laugh Track Matt and Zach's Party Time show today, because I was out at the laundromat doing my warsh and editing today's show. But I see here that Nicholas Caesar posted a uh, poster for the California meetup. So I guess they were talking about that today. It's a really awesome looking graphic. The West Coast PLA Euro Meet 2 will be in San Jose, California on March 16th, 2019 from 2 p.m. to 12 a.m. Hosted by Party Time, special guest DJ Poolscape, whoever the fuck that is. I've already made Olga's picture today's show art, so I can't make this one today's show art, but I'm putting a link to it in the show notes. Everybody should be there. I might be there. It's not looking good right now, but who knows? Maybe I'll be there, but definitely don't count on me being there. I'll do my best, though. Uh, One more thing. Calls of Mass Confusion videos. Those are still coming out every single day. YouTube.com slash Jesus in a Dump Truck. Today, one came out featuring a man who was really into pigeons and birds and stuff. He was going to help us dig a Hyperloop, but he didn't get the job. Yesterday is something called Telemarketing Camp with XYZ and GAD. I have not watched that one yet. I still need to watch that one. There's also a horsey cat video in here that I've not watched yet. I need to get caught up, but everyone should be watching those videos. They're basically Skype-based prank calls where you get to see people get weirded out by us instead of just hearing them. YouTube.com slash Jesus and a Dumb Truck. There's a link in the show notes at snowplowshow.com. And there's going to be a brand new one every single day until Pranksgiving, which is in a couple weeks on Thanksgiving. All right, let's get started with today's show. I've been in the real estate business for most of my life. Mm-hmm. What isn't yours? You are responsible. I've got a list here of 10,000 trailer parks. Reggie sent me the phone number of every single trailer park in a certain state. Should I say what state? But apparently there's 10,000 of them in the entire state. And the list includes the trailer park name and address and phone number and the county, because that's important. It's all in a spreadsheet for me. So thank you, Reggie. I guess I'm going to call all 10,000 of these in today's show. I don't know if I'll get to the end of the list in today's show, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and call all 10,000 within the next hour. I don't know. I may have to break this up into two different shows, but here we go. 10,000 trailer parks. Here's number one. Oh, and some of these are, they they seem to be like uh, actual campgrounds, you know, where you go on a family vacation. I could be wrong about that. I'm just, you know, judging by the names of some of these because they actually say campground in the title of them. Maybe I'll skip over those. This is Margaret. How may I serve you? Hey, Margaret. I'm a tenant here. Uh Uh-huh. And um, I just have a a small issue. Okay. Here, Here with my trailer. Oh, who, who is this, please? Uh, this is Roy. Roy. Yep. Is that your first name? Uh-huh. Okay, what lot are you? Uh, I'm, in, I'm like 63. I'm on Litchfield Lane. Okay, because um, I'm not real from, you know, let me look. In. Are you new? Uh, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Has, has anyone driven around the, 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 the park today and noticed my trailer? Um. It got turned upside down. What? I, I got into this. What? Huh, what? <laughs> um, how can that? 
Okay, you're on Litchfield? Yeah, correct. Your house got turned upside down? Yeah, the trailer did. Okay, these are... I, I think that's impossible, isn't it? I don't understand. What do you mean impossible? A, how could it be turned upside down? Well, I got into a fight with this uh, guy. He works for Royco Construction. He's a contractor. And okay. um, I think he just did it for revenge. Uh, okay. Nobody has said anything. Um, so you're on... I'm trying to... What's your address? Um, my, it's, it'd be the uh, six Litchfield. Okay, I'm looking at... Trying to find it. <sighs> 63. You guys don't have, like, some sort of a machine or something that can turn it back right okay. side up? Wait a minute. Yeah. The Wittenbergs own that house. Yeah. But I just stay on the couch. And they're, they're going to be mad when they get home. Yeah, who are you? I, I'm, I'm just a friend. I've, I've been staying on the couch for the past year. At the Wittenbergs? Yeah, yeah, the Wittenbergs. Me and them go way back. I've known them since high school. Okay, I, I really don't understand how this can be. Um, let me um, make a phone call. and um, then, What is your phone number? Uh, it's 420... Four two zero. Okay. Uh, six nine six nine. I saw them recently. They were here for. I thought they were in town. They're not here right now. Did they say anything about me? No. No, they're just out for the day. When did this happen? That you're what you're talking about? Uh, I guess at some point, um, overnight or maybe early this morning. I don't know. I was out all night. I, I stayed at my lady oh. friend's house. Okay. But then I, I got um, here, and that, that guy from Royco, he followed through on his threat. He turned my house upside down. Well, it's not your house. Well, it's um, kind of my house. I pay rent. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to have to check this out, okay? Okay. Okay, thank can, you. Can you bring something to Bye -bye. turn it right side up? Pardon me? Can you bring something to kind of turn it right side up? No, I don't, I'm not bringing anything. Um, I'm going to uh, check this out, okay? Thank you. Okay, well, I just, you know, I, I got to do it before the, the Williamsburgs get, what was their name? I can't even remember. They're going to kick me off their couch if they come home and see this. I don't know whose idea that was. I think I did those trailer park shows. Was that last year or maybe earlier this year? I can't remember. I think it was last year. But during a live show, uh, you guys were giving me ideas and I was copying them down and putting them in this list. And I still have the list of ideas. And I don't remember ever doing that one. Maybe I did. But that trailer park, um, it's more of a, I don't know, I think they're trailers still. They're all kind of long structures, but they seem to be permanent structures. They all have uh, carports hooked up to them, like every single one. And there's a big swamp right in the middle of it all. Very brown looking swamp. So maybe that one wasn't the best choice for getting my trailer turned upside down. Linda, how may I help you? Hey, Linda, I'm a resident here at the mobile home park. Yes, sir. And uh, this guy, he flipped my trailer upside down, just kind of like a prank, I guess. Like, is what? there? Do you guys have anything there that could turn it right side up? It's like on its roof now. What lot are you at? Uh, one thirty-two. And I can't even get inside now because. Like the door is up too high because it's on its roof? I've never in my life heard of such a thing. I know. Like, it, I think it's just neighborhood kids just playing a prank on me. So it's no big deal or anything. I just, you know, just if we could turn it back up, right side up. Like, do you have a car? Maybe you could just come over here and push it? No. Oh, and what is your name? You don't have a car? What is your name? Oh, geez, don't bite my head off. It's Roy. No, Roy, I'm not biting your head off. Kind of were. I just, you live at lot 132? That's a double wide. Yeah, I know. Like I'm trying to think. you trying to think what? I'm trying to think how anyone could physically turn a house over. I think they use cables or something. These damn kids today. Well, you said you live at 132. That's uh, Mr. That's another resident. Mr. Who? 
it's another person. Yeah, yeah, I stay on the couch. I wouldn't be on the computer. I'm more of an off, I beg off your pardon? I'm more of an off the grid type of person. I don't I I wouldn't I don't like being in computers. I'm just uh written written from uh you know Mr. What's his face. It's just kind of like a handshake basis thing. But Well, renting isn't allowed in here. Oh, no, I'm subletting. Okay. So it's okay. Well, yeah. I'm going to have my maintenance guy drive out there and see what's going on, okay? Okay, but I'm just subletting, you know, so it's fine. It's not really renting. No, no one is allowed to sublet in this community. Oh, well, too late, because I've been doing it for a good six months now. I, I stay on the couch. Now, but, you yeah. are talking about mobile home community, right? Yeah, of course, here on 13th Street. All right, just a moment. Joey, I got a gentleman here that's telling me he lives at 132, and some kids came along and turned his house over. It's the darndest thing. Okay, we'll, we'll check it out. Okay, well, can you have him bring, does he have a car? Because I was thinking he could just kind of like hook a rope up to his car and pull it back over. Like we could. Well, we'll have to check out. And see what's going on. Because I want to, okay. I want to do it before my roommate gets back home. Because he's going to be mad if he finds out his trailer was tipped upside down. Because I think it was my fault. All right. I think it, I think it was my fault because I was mouthing off to these kids in the neighborhood. Okay. Well, um, the maintenance guy will be over there in a few minutes. Check it out for okay. you. Okay. Can you have him bring a car and some rope? I will have him check it out. Okay. All, All right. right. That'd be great. Hey, is the maintenance guy, is he going to have an attitude like you? Whoa. I'm going to take that as a yes. Mark. Hey there. I'm a resident here, and I just uh, needed to let you know about something. Okay. What lot are you at? Uh, 46. 46? Yep. Okay. And um, I've just, uh, I've, I've been converting my trailer into a neighborhood bar. Uh, Hold but, on. What? Hold on. Who is this? Uh, my name's Alan. You're not in 46. What do you mean? Hold on a minute. Okay. Hello. Hello. I, I said fifty six. Fifty six. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she's deaf or something. Ah, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I've convert, converted my trailer into a neighborhood bar. Uh, I'm going to be putting. I'm going to be putting a sign up out front. Yeah. What's what's what are you talking about? I, I've converted the inside of the trailer into basically a, a bar and grill. Okay. And I've got a sign that's going up. Uh, I've got a you know restaurant license and everything. I don't have a liquor license, so we're just going to be uh, requiring um, donations for the drinks until we get around to getting that. I'm trying but, to think what what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, the trailer that I live in, lot number fifty six. Yeah, that's no longer going to be a place. I, I mean, I, I'm going to live in the back still. But it's going to be a business instead of a residence. You can't do that in, in here. Well, I've already done it, so there's no stopping me at this point. Party. What? What are you talking about, man? Are you lose your mind? No, I've I've converted my trailer into a bar. There's going to be a sign going you up. Can't have a you can't have a commercial entity in the residential area. What are you, I don't know what you even. I mean, I think you. Are you trying to joke me? Or are you, you no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't joke you. Uh, I, I've, okay, well, you can't do it. Okay, I've got, you have no permission to I've do that. I've got paperwork from the city. I converted the entire trailer into a bar already. It's done. Uh huh. And I'm going to be putting a sign up. I just didn't want you to be concerned about the sign. It's going to be a neon 50, sign. 56. Is, what is your name? Uh, it's the... Judy... Yeah. And, and who are you in relationship to Judy? I'm her brother. You're Judy's brother. Correct. Okay. 
And where did you, I mean, I never, you're supposed to come out of the office when you, you stay in there or what? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been there for a while now. Yeah. I, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just subletting, basically. I'm paying her the rent. Yeah. So. But anyway, like to help pay my rent, I've opened up a neighborhood bar, and you're welcome you to come by. Oh, no, no, you can't do that, okay? I've That's already done it. Permi- it's permissible, okay? No, it's, it's not permissible. Yeah, I, yeah, you can't really say that because I've already done it. It's done. Are We're, you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. We're opening yes, this. Yes, you are. You can't have a bar in a, in a residential area. We're opening this weekend. We've. It's all, It's like we put an ad in the paper and everything. <laughs> Where's Judy at? Uh, she's at work. Judy works? Where well, does she work? Well, it's none of your business. Like, mind your own damn business. <laughs> what? Is, now, who are you? You're not even, I mean, you're, you're not a approved residence in this park, much less somebody to open up a bar. Well, I don't need to be a resident. I'm a business owner in this park. I own the bar. You're a business owner in this park. You, yeah. you can't do that. Roy's, you have no permission. You, have, you better read the rules and regulations, buddy. I don't think it applies to uh, businesses in the park. Uh-huh. I, I don't think it really applies to businesses in the park, because I run Roy's Bar and Grill over in Lot 56. No. Sorry, but yes. no. no. I'm not asking permission. I just wanted to let but you know. No, you have to ask permission. You're on private property. You don't own this place. I know, but I own the bar in Lot 56. No, you don't own, you don't own that residence. You don't have anything to do with that residence. You don't, you're not even proved to live there. I've been living I'm there for almost... Owner. Uh, almost a year now. Do so what? I've been living there for almost a year. Like maybe if you did a better job, you would have known that. Why but, don't you come up here and see me? Uh, no. Why don't you come to the bar and I'll, I'll buy you a drink? It sounds like you need one. Oh my god! What? Come up to the bar and just order a drink from me. Drinks you, are drinks are free. You're duty your brother. Correct, yeah. Okay. And you have a bar in Judy's house, and you can put up a sign and sell drinks? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's barely even a house anymore. I've I've taken down a few walls. I put up a bar. Uh, you there's, take the walls down, you put up a bar? Yeah, there, there's tables, there's a bar, there's bar stools. Unbelievable. I don't, you know, you can do anything you want, I reckon, but you're not... You're not owning no bar in this neighborhood. Yes, I am. The, the sign people are coming today. They're going to put up the sign. No, that's not going to happen. They're definitely so. they're definitely doing this. Where are you from, anyway? Are you from? Where are you from? W- what's that matter? Why are you being so nosy? First, you're you went like, over because you're, you're calling me the owner of this community, telling me you're coming into my community, residential community, to open a bar. Well, I've been here a year, so I, I've lived here a long time. You have not been there a year. Yes, I have. What, what do you mean I haven't been there a year? I know where I've lived for the past year. Call the now, I've got, like, all the neighbor's approval and everything. Are you sure you're in the right Yeah, definitely on Southwest <laughs> Road. Yeah. Like, maybe you just don't know the na- the neighborhood that well, because, like, you didn't what even What is know, your name? You didn't even know I lived here. My name's Roy. Roy what? No, it's a, it's a who. It's what? It would be who. I'm a who. What is your last name? Who? 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 Oh, man. Who's calling you? Is that your phone or that la- that grouchy lady's phone? I don't know, but... Uh, you don't know? It's weird. Where is Judy at? Uh, Judy's at work. She doesn't work. She doesn't have a job. You don't know anything about my family. Yeah? (laughs) She doesn't have a a traditional job, but, no, she works. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't... I don't know why you're giving me a hard time. I don't know why you're giving me a hard time. I'm just trying to open a business. You know, you're calling me up, telling me you open them up. A bar, yeah, a conventional residential neighborhood, which is not can happen. It's the American okay. dream. I'm opening my own business. Not in a neighborhood, you know. Where else would I put it? You go out here in a where it's zoned, and you have license, and you do all that. No, stuff. I applied for zoning with the city. They're they're supposed to get back to me soon. 
No, you can't get zoning here. You can't do but, it. But I mean, if the if the bar already exists, then it's fine. Like they're not going to say no if it's already there. Oh wow, you man, there's something wrong with you. I don't know why I you'd don't say understand. that. Understand? I guess you don't understand the the. You just don't understand how to run a business. What? You, you just don't understand how to run a business. You're not a businessman like me. Well, I, if you look at well, Judy don't know how to rule. Read rules and regulations. She lets you do something like that. I don't. I don't rip you. Don't know who you are. Never heard of you. Why well, pay Judy's I mean, you rent. don't even exist. I Judy do too. Lives in that house. I do too. You're exist. Calling me, telling me you open a bar in her house. You got to be a kidding. What? Who's she talking to in the background? I mean, I don't. I don't know. But this is a private property, and you have no right to open up. Bar here, okay. Okay, well, it's too late. It's already done. It won't happen uh, again. That ain't the way it works. Oh, yes, That's it does. No, man, that ain't the way it works. Look, you, why, you don't have no permission. Why don't you just come in on Friday and just join the rest of us and have some drinks? Yeah. Why don't you? Just calm, calm your ass down. Well, why don't you go get you a drink and get out of here? Well, why would That's I do that? I, gotta do. I own my own you bar. Gotta, you don't even have permission to live here. You're you're a visitor, and that's all you are. Oh no, I've lived here for almost a year now. She says she's been living. I've been paying place. rent. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have too. Not to you. I pay it to Judy. No. What do you mean, no? No, that's not true. You ain't been here a year. Well, how would you? Yeah, you have been breaking the rules and regulations the whole time. You, I mean, we under we operate under prospectus. I mean, you have to. You have to legally be here. How would you You're even not. know? You're not. After two weeks, you have to sign up in the office and get approval to even stay here. Oh, well, you should have been watching closer, and then you would have known I'd lived there. Oh, oh no. Get out of here. I'm, I'm, out, I'm out in the yard all the I'm time. Out, oh, hey, we're not going to discuss it anymore. Okay. You know, if you want to discuss something, you can discuss it with my attorney. I'll well, call the police. If there's a rowdiness in a bar going on, you put a sign up somewhere. There's not going to be any rowdiness. Police. Like it's well, not it's not that kind of a bar. Authorities, okay? I'm not looking to to make like a biker bar or anything. Well, it's, I don't it's, know. It's going to be a, a nice have... little establishment. No, it ain't gonna happen. We're gonna have tacos. We're gonna have burgers. We're gonna have alcohol. Oh man, I just clicked on this Judy lady. She's 70 years old. So that guy's an ageist. He do, he doesn't think a 70 year old can work. This is Indy. How can I help you? Hey, I'm a resident here. You are a resident? Yeah, yeah. How come we're on speaker? Okay. It sounds terrible. I can barely understand you. And which lot? What? Which lot? Oh, one, 115. 115? Well, we no. don't have no one. Hey, here, shh, shh. L, L15. L15? Yeah, that's it. I misread. L15, as far as I know, there's only a female there living with children. Yeah, I stay in the couch. But anyway, listen, um, you know how there's wheels? And who are you? What? Who are you, sir? Uh, I'm her brother. Okay, you need to fill out an application and bring your picture in social to be approved to live at the property. Oh, no, I've been living here for like six months. But we're getting off topic. Um, we, there's a small issue here. Okay, can you have her give me a call? Yeah, because yeah. To but do you want to hear? Do you want to hear about my problem? No, sir, not right now. No, I need to speak with her. Look, I hooked up motors to the wheels on the trailer, and I tried to drive it. Can you tell that kid in the background to shut the fuck up, please? No, sir. You are, you need to stop talking like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just all upset after the the, the trailer crash. Um, yeah, I try to drive my trailer out into the road. You know? Your trailer's on the road? Yeah, well, I, put, I hooked up motors to the wheels, like electric motors, because mm -hmm. I, I wanted to see if I could drive it around. No, sir, you can't do that. No, I did. That's what I'm saying. I accident. I did. I drove my trailer, and I crashed it into my neighbor's trailer. What neighbor? Uh, the next door neighbor. I mean, the one across the street. Okay, what lot number is that? I don't know. It's just a little bit of, you know, just a little dent in the siding, that's all. 
Well, if it's a rental, if it's a rental, that will be with us. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll just and take care of it myself. You're, you're, so whoever is renting there in L15, mm-hmm. she's the one that's going to end up paying for it. No, no, no. I'll fix it myself. I'm going to, I'm just like, a, I know how to fix things. I'm a contractor. I work for Royco Construction. But are we not supposed are to... Are you sure that? you're L15? Yeah, definitely. That's definitely the right one. Um, I, I was just, I was hooking up electric motors <laughs> to the, the wheels on the trailer, you know? Okay. All right. Um, Drove it around. Just have, just have um, the lady that lives there give me a call. Okay. And it's lucky the extension cord ran out because when it ran out, it unplugged it and it stopped driving. Otherwise, it would have plowed through the whole park. Okay. Whenever I have a chance and opportunity, I'll go, I'll go check. But I need to know what's the other home that you hit. Okay. Well, you know, like it's, it's just, you know, it's, it was just an accident. That's all. I'm gonna um uh, I'm gonna put it in. It's not an accident. It's, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. It should. It's something that shouldn't happen. First of all, I'm gonna you're supposed to be on the lease to live at the property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's just a dumb rule. Hey, um, like, do you have an extension cord there I can borrow? Cause I need to plug this back in, so that no, I can. Sir. I I well, I need to back it back it back up into its lot. I'm gonna put it in reverse. No, sir, I don't- no, sir, I don't have an extension cord. I need to drive my trailer backwards. Is it, like, can I just borrow one? I know you have one in there for something. No, sir, I have to let you go because I got to like, get on a conference call like right now. A conference call for what? A conference call. For who? What are you, who are you talking to? What are you talking about, sir? I have to get into a conference call right yeah, now. Yeah, I know, but who are you going to be talking to? Like, what are you talking about? I don't need to give you that information, sir. Uh, well, you don't need to bite my head off. I'm just, just asking. Sir, I need to get into a conference call right now. Okay, so well, I'm going to I'm gonna okay. try and reverse my trailer and, and drive it back into its spot. Okay, but I'll go check whenever I have an opportunity. I'll be out there. Okay, how long is your conference call going to gonna take? I don't know. That's uh, something I cannot answer. Approximate. I cannot give you no approximately. Uh, how about a ballpark figure? Hello? 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 Hello. What was that? Like a, a fake? Like like pretending that she can't hear me so she can hang up? She's a really bad actor. That's like the, I'm going under a freeway overpass. I can't hear you. Thank you for calling. This is Beacon. How may I help you? Hey there. Uh, I'm a resident here. Mm-hmm. And um, there's a small issue. Uh... I hooked up electric motors to the wheels under my trailer, and I was driving. what? I'm sorry. I hooked up electric motors to the wheels underneath my trailer, and I, mm-hmm. I I was driving it around, you know, just up and down the street here. Mhm. And um, like it, it stalled. Like I I can't get it. I can't drive it back into my lot. Is there any uh, way? Uh, what? It's it's a motor home. Yeah, no, it's it's my actual trailer. You know, the the trailer that's that's in in my lot. Uh huh. The the whole thing, like uh, I, you know, there's wheels underneath, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hooked up electric motors to those, and I was just to see if I could drive it around. I thought it'd be fun. So I drove it kind of around the neighborhood a little bit. I don't know if you saw me. Like it was kind of funny. Like it's an entire house just driving down the street. The neighbors were, like, pointing and laughing. <laughs> no. Yeah, but... Um, I haven't seen you. Yeah, it ran out... I ran out of battery, basically. Um, do you have, like, a long extension cord there so I can charge this up and drive it back to my lot? No, I do not have a long extension cord. Sorry. Is there a maintenance guy there? No. Well, what am I going to do? Well... I'm like two blocks from where my lot is. I'm like way over there on on 16th. You're way on 16th? Yeah. Well, I guess you could call somebody with a tow something that could help you. Well, a tow truck can't tow an entire trailer, like a a big house trailer. Right. But if it's not on our property, I don't know what you would want me to do. No, it's it's still on the property. It's just I'm, I'm a couple blocks. Well, tell me where tell me where you're at. 
on the property, and I'll come and try to help you. Uh, I'm in front of lot 77, and my trailer is usually on lot 28. Okay, so I'm about to walk that way. Okay, how long is it going to take you? As soon as I can lock the office and come there. Okay, can you bring an extension cord? Like, can you stretch an extension cord from the office to here? Because I, I, I just don't have a lot of battery power in here. No, sir, I don't have an extension cord that would reach that far at all. Okay, because I don't want to carry my battery all the way to my lot and, like, plug it in there and have to carry it back. It's heavy. Okay, well, if whenever I can come to where you're at, I'll see what I can do to help you out. Do you have a maintenance guy? Who's that in the background talking? That is another resident. Oh, can you put him on the phone? I'm about to walk to you to try to help you out, okay? I know, but put the resident on the phone, because he's a man. He'll probably know more than you. Yeah, but I'm not. I can't just let you talk to another resident. No, that's cool. Like just, just tell him I'm a resident, too. Privacy stuff. Privacy stuff? No, we're, we're neighbors. We, I probably talk to him all the time. Well, I don't know, but if he, people that come in the office are under privacy stuff, and I can't just let that happen. What? Like that. Oh, that's silly. That's you you got to admit that's kind of a silly rule. Come on, just put him on. No, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. Please? I'm going to come and see what I can do to help you in front of Lot 77, okay? Okay, yeah. I'll be the trailer that's parked in the middle of the road, kind of like stretched diagonally across the road so nobody can get through. Okay. You, you'll see me. It's the blue one. Okay. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Hey there. I'm a resident here at the at the park, at the trailer park. Pardon me? I said I'm a resident here. I live here. Uh, Carlos? What? Oh, yeah, Carlos. How are you doing? All right. That's good. Hey, um, I put another trailer on top of my existing trailer, so it's two stories. So I'm cutting a hole into my ceiling and then the floor of the one that's on top of the trailer now. So, you know, I can put in a staircase. Okay. And, um, do you, like, uh, do, do you have, like, one of those Sawzall tools so I can saw into my ceiling? No, I don't have anything like that. Okay, that's fine. I'll just use my uh, hand saw. Just do it manually. Good old-fashioned hard work. Okay. All right. But, yep, I'm going to have a two-story trailer from now on, just so you know. And where is this at? Uh, it's here at my lot. What lot? You don't know which lot Carlos lives in? <laughs> 56. That's right. 56. That's me. What are you asking for, if you know? Who is this? Carlos. Uh, did you call Joe? Uh, what about? Uh, looking for anything you need. Oh, no, I didn't think of that. But, um, you know, I'm halfway through the ceiling already. I'll just keep sawing with my regular handsaw. Well, he's the one that would know if he has whatever you're looking for. I have no idea what he has when he does it. Yeah, yeah. I, I like, took a metal staircase off of a building uh, in town. I'm going to use that to, uh, you know, have the stairs go up to the upstairs trailer in my, yeah. my new two-story trailer. Yeah, he'd know more about that than me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, also, uh, I'm starting up a a prison yard work co-op thing. Like, they're going to be bring, bringing in prisoners from the, the prison. And they're just going to be, uh, you know, walking around the neighborhood and picking up trash. In the park? Yeah, yeah. It's just going to be uh, prisoners. They're going to be wearing orange jumpsuits. And they're going to be picking up trash. So you guys won't have to pick up as much trash. We don't pick up trash in the park. I know, but like now you won't even have to worry about it because there's going to be prisoners going around. They're going to fix up things and pick up trash. They're going to do odd jobs. 
they're just going to knock on doors and ask residents if they want anything. You know, if they have like a stopped up sink or anything like that. We're going to have a lot of prisoner, a lot of prisoners just walking through and helping out with things like that. You can't have that going on in here. Oh no, it's cool. They're they're uh, you know, they're 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 not like, you know, murderers or anything. They're just regular prisoners. They're good people, basically. They just They ain't going to want something like that in here. Yeah, but uh, it's something I've set up with the, the the state and the prison and everything. Like and they're going to they're going to give me money for this. Because it, it, you know, it keeps know. keeps them busy and makes them, uh, you know, a valuable asset to society. It, it, it's just gonna be prison. Yeah, maybe, maybe in, I don't know. I, I don't think people are gonna like the idea of that. That's why they do background checks on people. Yeah, they don't want the wrong kind in here. Well, yeah, but they're not gonna live here. They're, they're, and and there's gonna be an armed. I, it doesn't matter with it. It doesn't matter. They're still in here and they're seeing what everybody has and. They could be telling their buddies or anything. I don't think they're oh, going to go for something like that. I don't think they'll do that. And besides, there's going to be an armed guard watching them all. It doesn't matter. There's going to be, they, they, you know, when they're done and out of prison, they could come back here and they could rob everybody blind. No, that's silly. No, they're they're just going to come in and and check, like you know, look around their houses and fix things. Well, then you better go around and take a survey of how many people would like allow that that wouldn't mind it. Yeah, I bet you they'll be. Allow they'll be like this. This whole park is going to be more secure because there's going to be two armed guards uh, watching all of the prisoners, and it's only going to be like three days a week. That's all. Well, I don't know. There's no garbage laying around in the park. The, the perimeter all the time, but not in the park. Yeah, they're going to do the perimeter. They're going to go in people's yards. They're and they're going to like just clean up trash out of their yards, like if, underneath their carport. They're gonna look around under, underneath yeah. their carport and like if they have. Soda. I don't think so. No. <laughs> if they have soda cups sitting around, they'll pick those up. It's it's gonna this place no. is gonna be bright and sparkly. Like maybe the maybe I don't think so. Maybe we can get them involved in the painting program. They can start painting the trailers. Like, what do you have against prisoners? No. They're 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 humans too. I don't have anything against prisoners, but that's not the kind of people they want in here strolling yeah. around in the park. Yeah, they're just, they're not going to live here. Them. They won't live here. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're just going to be here for uh, six hours on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's all. No. Yep. Yep, those no. are the days I signed up for. I mean, I've already done it. I already and signed up. Who signed this up? And nobody signed anything like that up. And nobody got permission from me. No, I and they did wouldn't it. get it. So. I did it. I, I signed it up. And they're going to give me $50 a day. Like three days a week. I don't think so. No, it's like a, no. a new work release program. And they give us money to let the prisoners get out and uh, readjust to life on the outside. These are people that have been and in prison for like 20 years. I didn't give you permission for that to let people like that come in here. That's why we have maintenance. Yeah, well, you're not going to need maintenance. You can probably just like stop paying maintenance because uh, you know the prisoners are going to fix everything. Are you bullshitting me or what? No, I wouldn't. Why would I do that? That's crazy. I don't know. I gotta go. Where are you going? What are you doing? I gotta go. Where to? I got business to take care of. What kind of business? I gotta go. Goodbye. <laughs> well, that was an idea from Kevin Kevin Morale during a live show. Uh, I don't know, last year or something. Prison work co-op thing. Thanks, Kevin. I can't believe how open she was to the whole, you know, two-story trailer thing and putting a hole in the roof and everything. But then you get prisoners involved and her whole attitude changes. I see how it is. Yes, Let's speak, can I help you? Hey there, uh, I'm a resident here at the park. Mm-hmm. And um, I just have a small problem. Okay, what lot are you on? I'm, I'm over on 293. 293? Yeah. Okay, what's the name? Roy. I have a Carlos Torres Rodriguez. 
Yeah, yeah, that's my brother. I, I live here, too. Okay, so you're not the owner, right? No, but, um, so we got tired of our noisy neighbors last night, though. And we moved our trailer across the park so we wouldn't have to listen to them anymore. Okay. So I needed to let you know that we moved into a new space. I don't know what the lot number would be, but we're in a new space now. We're like over there by the trees. Okay, what's the problem? Um, well, I'm, I kind of wedged my trailer in between these two other trailers. And, and now I can't get the door open. Okay, and you're, what's the lot that you're on now? You're on, you're on 293? No, no, that's where I moved from. Me and Carlos. I know, we, but what lot, where is the trailer now? Where, what location is that at? Well, I don't know, because we can't get out. Because the trailer is wedged in between these two other trailers, and the door won't open anymore. I know, but how can I find you? How can I find you to see that? Because, uh, you know, we have to go out there and see where you're at. So I'm just trying to locate you. Um, we'll just drive around the neighborhood. My trailer is sticking out in the road a little bit. What What street? Um, Can you give me a street name? Over there by the trees. Is that is that Robble Drive, maybe? I don't know. No, see, honey, cause I'm trying to remember, this is the 490 Park. We need to know. Yeah. We can't be riding around the whole park to find you. So if you can give me something so I can let you so I will direct to you, you know, that would help. Yeah. Or maybe a, a neighbor's house or something, a number. But we want to just, like, stay here from now on. We're going to back the trailer up a little bit out into the road at some point and we'll just you know we'll be able to get out that way okay so you don't, you're you're able to get out no we can't get out yet uh, we're waiting for the battery to charge we hooked up electric motors to our wheels so we could drive the trailer mm -hmm. so uh, okay and you don't know what area you're around no numbers of lots you can over, tell me over nothing. by the trees you know by the big row of trees there's like nothing but trees you're behind us I understand you, but like I said, you know how many trees are in this park? I can't really locate you if I don't know where you're at. Yeah, well, you know, it's Sorry. like around the, around the edge. Kind of around the edge. Okay, uh, are you getting a tow company to help you, or what no. do you need? Uh, no, I just, I wanted to let you know that we moved. Me and Carlos, we've moved into a new spot. We live over here now, oh. over on Robles, Robble, whatever it's called. Robble, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, Robble. Robble. No, it's pronounced Robble. Robble Drive. Okay, Robble Drive. You on West Robble Drive or East? East. You know this is them. You're at East Robble Drive. I think okay. so. I don't know. It was kind of late. We were angry and we just got tired of the noise that our neighbors were making, so we just drove over here. Okay, I'm going to speak to the manager about that, okay? Okay, can I just talk to the manager? Just put the manager yeah, This is Shanna. How can I help you? Hey, Shanna. Uh, I guess she told you we moved our trailer. We no longer live over, over there in 293. Okay, well, I'm sorry. What? I can barely hear you. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, put the phone closer to your ear, I guess. Will that help? Uh, well, I am holding the phone closer to my ear. Oh. Okay, so what are you Did trying to tell me? Oh, uh, we've moved our trailer over to the other side of the, the park. We're on East Robble Drive. You're on East Robble. What trailer did you move? R Robble. We moved uh, our trailer, uh, number 293, me and Carlos. We uh, we got tired of the noisy neighbors. So last night, about 4 in the morning, okay. we just packed it up and okay. moved okay, it. Okay, listen, I, I can barely understand you. It sounds like you're talking too close to the phone. Okay, you're saying that you had a trailer and you moved it where? It's weird. The other lady could hear me just fine. Uh, we moved it over to uh, East Robble Drive. Okay. So I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Roy. I'm Carlos's brother. You're not a very good manager if you, you can't, like, you don't understand what I'm talking about. You say you don't know how to use a phone. Okay, say that again. It because just, if you want to be rude, this conversation will be over right now. Well, it just seems like you're not a very good manager because you're, you're not, like, you're not understanding anything I'm telling you. Number one, 
you know, you're telling me that you moved a trailer without identifying yourself. So there's 491 lots here. Well, I told the so lady I'm before. I'm supposed to automatically know which one you're talking about. Yeah, well, I told the lady before uh, and, who I was. And if you really want to come. If you want to comment on my manager skills, this conversation's over. Well, she should have told you. It sounds like she's not a very good employee. No, because you weren't giving her the information. No, I did. I told her who I was. Okay, I told her which trailer I was in. I ask you questions. No, she said that she asked you and you didn't tell her. Oh, she's Either full of way, shit. Again, she's lying. She's a liar. Okay, so now, okay, so you want to call me a bad manager and you want to call my assistant a liar. Well, only is because there a she's reason lying. why you're calling me? Because she's lying. Uh, I, I'm just okay, letting you know. Okay, is there a reason why you're calling me? What are you wanting me to help you with? With nothing. I'm letting you know we moved our trailer. We're no longer in lot number 293, just like I told that liar before. We're, we're, we live over on Robles now. Robble. Let me call up my own cell phone, see if I sound like shit. I think I sound fine. Hello? Hello? Okay, cell phone muted. Can you hear me? Yes, I sound perfectly fine. The lady's full of crap. She's a liar, too, just like her employees. That was the second time I got to play someone named Carlos. Isn't that crazy? Got to be two Carloses in a row. Hi. Hey there, I'm a resident here, um, and I need to let you know about something. Pardon me? I'm a resident. I live here. Okay. And uh, I moved my trailer last night. You you did what? I moved my trailer. I live on the other side of the park now. What? what? You moved your mobile home? Yeah, I moved the whole thing. You uh, can't do that. Oh, but I what had... Lot am I, I had what no am I talking to? Who am I talking to? I had to? noisy neighbors. They were being so noisy. So I just... Pardon me. Just a minute. Just oh, a minute. All right. Okay, now, you moved... From your mobile home from one side to the other? Yep, yep, I live on the other side now. Like, like, well, and it seems a lot who quieter. Told you, you could do that. Uh, nobody, but the neighbors were being so noisy, they had their music up. Hey, who and, am I speaking to? Uh, my name's Ken. And what's your lot number? Well, it was 43. But I don't know what, what I don't know what it is now, because, like, I. I'm not really well, in, in a lot. I just you, ca you cannot move from one lot to another without permission. I'm basically in someone's backyard right now. I'm by the trees. You what? I, I basically live in someone's back back. Why don't you? Are back. you in the park now? Yeah, but I'm busy. I'm. Did you please come up to the office so we can get this straight. Oh well, maybe maybe tomorrow. Like I'm I'm setting up. Camp. No, today. Well, no, I'm I'm setting things up. Uh, I like it back here better. It's shadier. Uh -huh. Like I didn't have what lot? Oh, wait a minute. What lot did you move to? Uh, well, I don't know, cause I'm I'm like in the back of a few lots, and I don't know what their lot numbers are. Uh, so, okay, you moved from one thirty-three. Yep. Are you there? Are you there now? Yeah. Well, no. I'm in. Okay, I'm in my new I'll, place. I'll be right there. Well, no. I'm okay. in my. I'm in my new place. I'm in someone's backyard. Well, I need to see what you're talking about. Okay, well, maybe tomorrow, because I'm watching TV no, right now. No, today. I'm watching TV right now. You what? I'm watching TV right now. Can I do That's it? That's tough shit. You cannot Whoa. move from one lot to another. Well, my neighbors were noisy. The neighbors are what? The neighbors were so noisy last night. They were being so noisy and disrespectful, so we just packed it up and moved it across okay, the park. just a minute. All right. Did she hang up? That's how's she gonna find me, ma'am? I think she's still on. I can hear that horrible buzzing sound. Oh, there she goes. Okay, she's jumping in her golf cart to drive around the trailer park. I think she's gonna be driving up in everyone's backyards looking for my new lot, my brand new lot. I guess I'm gonna end it there. I've been doing this for almost two hours. I didn't exactly get all 10,000 numbers finished. It looks like maybe I got uh, close to 50 numbers finished. Maybe it's going to take longer than I thought to do 10,000 numbers. And I doubt you guys heard 50 of them because I'm going to be doing some editing on this next. And there was a lot that didn't pick up. There was a lot that weren't funny at all. A lot that were disconnected. Quite a few that were, uh, you know, like I would call them like one was a bar. So maybe a resident converted their trailer into a bar. And then another was just some lady's house. She had no idea which trailer park I was talking about. So I think this list is from 10 years ago. Thanks a lot, Reggie. 
Hey, Brad. It's hey. Gordon Bombay. Hey. Why do I send you phone numbers, Brad? I don't know. Is it because you make Stupid amazing you. tunnel call shows like you just did? Oh, thanks. It's really good. Really good job, Brad. I thought you were going to complain at me for not doing your requests. No, that's not why. Because uh. 13 years ago, I was homeless, living in Portland, Oregon. Holy crap. I discovered PLI Radio, and your social engineering tips helped me bullshit my way into a job that I had no business getting. Good job. And they were very confused when I got there, and I didn't know what I was doing. But I learned, and they didn't fire me amazingly. I got That's good, nice. and now I actually have a career directly related to that, so I owe you. Where do you work at? Uh, so I'm going to keep sending you phone numbers. What's the phone number? Here. I got a system, Brad. What's the name of the business? All right, keep up the great work. Love you. Bye. All right, bye, Gordon Bombay. That's weird. Exactly 13 years ago, I just moved to Oregon, and I used to hang out in Portland a lot, so I probably passed you on the street once or twice. I was homeless in Portland a few times. We've all been there. Hey, Brad. Just calling on in from Tempe, Arizona. Uh, I have a theory as to why Brian called Carlito... Well, sorry. Why Brad... uh, why? <laughs> I'm retarded. Okay, I have a theory as to why Brian told Carlito that he has feet on his shoes during the calls of mass confusion episode. Oh, that old video. Um, I think he was trying to say, like... Half the people yourself- here probably have no idea what you're talking about. There's a couple of videos that me and Carlito did together, and he had shoes on his hands for some reason. Carlito did during the whole interview, and the guy made fun of him for like- it. Put yourself in my shoes. Oh, wait, like, walk wait, I missed your theory. Um, I think he was trying to say, like, put yourself in my shoes, like, walk a mile in someone's shoes. And it just didn't come out well because he was trying to be really, like, succinct and, like, Maybe. a little comeback. And he might not have even been trying to say that. I, I was trying to analyze it because I remember oh, that. Wait, did you not see the shoes on Carlito's hands throughout the entire interview? It could have had something to do with that, too. Call me crazy, but I think that may uh, have been it. You called him a monkey, and then uh, I didn't call him monkey. You know th- that was the response that you got feet on your shoes, which I couldn't stop watching. Like that was a really like probably one of the funniest things I've seen from the PLA, and it Aww. wasn't even from one of YouTube. Thanks. So, you know, uh-huh. but still, I think that's the one where we were telling the guy we were digging a, a base inside of a mountain. And we needed him to dispose of major archaeological finds because they were going to slow down our project. Uh, I think that might be why I he think. said it, but also sort of like some saying you know that I'm missing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I said I, I love the calls of mass confusion. Maybe try watching the videos. Like these like hobo. Maybe this guy's blind. Right. All right, cactus, cactus, cactus. Thanks for the voicemail. Hey, Brad, it's Carlito. No, just kidding. It's King Cobra. Um, oh. uh, that whole music you got, you got going on those last couple episodes. Or- really damn funny but the problem was is that they didn't hear or comment on it they never so do i just hope you can keep using that whole music thing so to get him comment because that has to be some of the funniest yeah i don't know stuff that well, maybe i need to turn it down a little bit or something so they can hear it away i think one person has commented on the the pussy good pussy sweet music so far and it wasn't much of a comment from what i remember and other people have sent me other songs to possibly use as hold music so i need to do that give those other songs a try hi brad hey. um, i'm a long time listener first time caller okay um my name's caitlin and i just want to say that i love your show and i've listened to it for years and it makes me really happy Thanks, caitlin. Um, my favorite episodes are when you make employees set off the alarm uh, the lunk alarms. At the post where they work, like that one where not you- not alarms, lunk alarms. Don't start any rumors. I'm not one of those people that calls up hotels and gets them to smash their fire detector things and set off sprinklers in their face. These are lunk alarms at Planet Fitness. Set off the lunk alarm at the gym. So basically fake alarms. It's more of a anyway. Yeah. See you later, cactus, cactus. Bye. Yeah, I should do more of those while they last. How much longer is Planet Fitness going to keep those around? They have to have realized by now that those are a horrible idea, shaming their customers with a a loud air raid siren instead of just going up and talking to them, shaming them from a distance like a coward. Hey, Brad, it's Chaz the Tandem Stacker. Haven't called you in a while, but I've been having a great time listening to your shows. That's great. I was wondering if you would be so kind as to do a final boss call to that Buffalo Wild Wings saying that you're one of those names on the list with the phone number that was disconnected. What a great idea. And this crazy call and see what they had to say. Anyways, 
Have a good one. Cactus, cactus. I think I need to do that right now. I don't know why I didn't think to do that on the show the other day. I'm slipping in my old age. That's what's happening. Thank you for calling Buffalo Wild Wings. This is Kylie. How can I help you? Hey, Kylie. I'm a customer from there. I've been in there a few times. I like to order takeout and not pick it up sometimes, I guess. Um, and okay. I got the weirdest call like from, uh-huh. from your manager, and he said that you still had my takeout from two months ago sitting on the counter, and then I needed to come in and pick it up, um, and it was going to be double the price. Really? It was the darndest thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, is, my goodness. Wh- why did he do that? Uh, I have no idea. I have, I have not heard of that. Is your manager's name Roy? Roy? Yeah. Um, we do not have a manager named Roy. Oh, what about the district manager? Is he Roy? Oh, I, I think, I don't think his name's Roy. Yeah. I think it starts with a K. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Well, is the manager there? Maybe I could ask him. Maybe he knows, because it's just the darndest thing. I got this call, did, said my... Did this just happen? Uh, yesterday, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah and he was... See, being, we've been... What? We've been having a lot of um, people actually, um, like, they'll go on our website and they'll put in that there's been people calling them, like, three or four times by different people saying that, you know, they need to come get their food, you know. Oh, weird. From months ago. Um, did oh, you yeah. you want to talk to a manager? Yeah, that sounds like what happened to me. So what did the other people say? Um, they were saying the same thing, that there's, you know, a guy that didn't come up and get his food for a month and... Um, it just, he, they told him that he needed to come back in. And, I mean, it sounds like the same thing happened to you. Yeah, because I wouldn't think the food would still be good after a month. Oh, n- no, <laughs> not at all. Because they, they said huh. it, it wasn't even being uh, uh, heated or cooled or anything. It, it was just sitting on the counter for an entire month. Really? Because we throw, ex- like, when we have extra food, we just throw it away if people don't come get it oh yeah yeah i'm i'm huh. guilty of that so many times i i order from there a lot and a lot of times yeah i just don't even come in and get it i'm just like well you know what i'm just gonna watch tv yeah. I, don't, I don't come in and get it um or were you wanting to talk to a manager oh yeah okay All right, like i hope it wasn't the guy i talked to because i threatened to kick his ass but that's only because he was no. being mean to me yeah, no, no we didn't. We don't have a manager named Roy. Okay, yeah, because I'm not usually like that. He just was saying yeah, mean let, things uh, about my girlfriend. I'll let her know that you're on um, the phone for her. Okay. Alrighty, give me one second. In the beat up sauce lab, experimenting and innovating new ways to spice things up a notch. Whoa. While it lasts, try <laughs> this guy's excited about his buffalo wild wings. Enchilada. This sauce isn't just for enchiladas anymore. A combination of chili sauce and spices adds a unique flavor. Yeah. Come in today, because once it's gone, it's gone for good. <laughs> With our website, your Buffalo Wild Wings. This is Anna speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Anna. Uh, I'm a customer, and I don't know. I got a call from someone named Roy. He said he was the manager there. We don't actually have a manager by the name of Roy here. Oh, well, I know I ordered takeout a couple months ago there, and he said my takeout was still waiting for me. No, sir, it is not. It must have been a scam call. Well, no, the person I talked to before said a lot of people have been getting calls like that from your place. Um, I guess it's not from us specifically, but I guess another somebody else may be calling you guys. I'm not really sure what's, what's going on with oh, that. Oh, he said, he, was, he said if I didn't pick it up, they were going to like come and leave it on my porch. Like oh, yeah, absolutely. Rot- no, rotten food, has... rotten food from like two months ago. Yeah, absolutely not. I'm not really sure um, how they got your number or hmm. you know what that is about, but that has nothing to do with the Buffalo Wild Wings here. Okay, all I right. Cause yeah, the, I, I apologize about that. I don't want rotten Buffalo Wild Wings on my porch tonight. Like, so it's not going to happen. Absolutely not. That'd be yeah, that'd be very unfortunate. Is there, um, is there but an, no, sir? Is there, I haven't. Is there, is there is there an employee named Roy? No, sir. Huh. Is there someone that no, has a nickname have, of Roy? What? No, not even. We don't have anybody nickname, anything you know, similar to that name that works here or has even worked here. So and no, I've been here since the doors open. So nobody else has called about this like a few days ago? Um, I've been, I just got back from vacation as of yesterday and ah. I haven't had any you know, issues of, of this. But I do remember you know, issues like people. this last year. Yeah. Okay. And it's well, usually just due to the holidays. Uh, I just had someone in my voicemails ask me to call the final boss, and I thought I would do that, and, but I guess you've been on vacation, 
so you can't give me any hilarious stories. God damn it. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. The, the girl before seemed to know more than you. Maybe she should no. be the manager. That's funny. All right. Well, you have a good night. Oh, well, no. Thank it's you. serious. It's not a joke. She should be the manager. Well, there you go, Chaz. I tried, but I got the manager that's just on vacation all the time. Doesn't take her job seriously. Hey, Brad. Will here. I just finished listening to your episode 509, and I gotta say, man, that shit was fucking hilarious. Thank you. That first call that you started out. What did I do? The show went before the intro. Oh, yeah, the request show. The way that guy was like, okay, Dave, that is your real name. Dave. Man, that shit had been cracking up for for a while, man, but... Yeah. Anyways, that guy was awesome. You should do some more request line uh, shows. I will. I'm breath. going to. Bye. Bye. By the way, on the request show, I did that call about the vending machine that turned into a robot. And a guy named Christopher, he made a Photoshop um, in the PLA Facebook group. Let me scroll down and try and find it. Scroll through these billions of photos that Matt Hillock posted. Yeah, here it is. He posted a picture of a soda machine in a waiting room that has robotic legs and arms and a head, and it's shooting a soda out of its slot. It's pretty awesome. So I sent a text to Bruno, the vending machine guy, last night, and I sent him a picture of, of that happening, and I wrote to him, Bruno, the soda machine's acting up again. And he actually responded, like, remember in the call, he wasn't too crazy about my call. He's like, come on, man, I've been working all day. I don't have time for this. But this time, he seemed to have more of a sense of humor about it. He says, tell her to calm down and I'll switch her off. And that was the end of our exchange. I don't know. It's not hilarious or anything, but I thought it was pretty funny that he responded with what I think is humor. I don't know. Maybe he's completely serious. Maybe he, like, rushed over there immediately to confront the robotic soda machine. But that is yet another thing that I'm going to post in the show notes today. Christopher's Photoshop of a robotic soda machine trying to kill me with a 7-Up. Also in that same thread, he did a Photoshop of a truck coming up out of a service elevator in some guy's front lawn. That's pretty great. Bradley! Hello. Hey, I had a complaint slash suggestion about that totally free podcast that you do for free for us. Okay, let's hey, hear it. Um, some of us can't use podcast apps for whatever reason. Like, I, I have to download Why not? the MP3s of the Why shows manually from the web. a flip phone or something? I, and that's fine. Except, um, you know how, up. like, MP3s could have, like, cover art embedded in them, and they play on the screen of your media player while they you're do. listening to that MP3? And I'm aware cool. of this. Uh, none of your shows have that. It's always just the blank... Well, it does if you use a podcast app. ...note icon indicating... That there is no cover art. Uh, so I'm sorry. Uh, you could, there's all kinds of free software to do that. I use the freeware. I think it's called MP3 Tag for uh, Windows. So yeah, you could uh, just a lot of take the cover work. art that you have prepared uh, for each show that you put on the website, and then just you know embed that in the show MP3s. So yeah. Hop to it. Do maybe, it. Maybe I should do okay. that. Sugar tips. Listeners, please tell me the easiest way to embed art into an MP3 file. And maybe I'll do that. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of extra work. There's already way too many steps into making a podcast. You want me to do more work just so your phone looks prettier? Just get a $10 hobo phone and use that as your podcast machine. Put a podcast app on it. That's what you should do. Hey, Brad. It's Nick. Hey. I'm one of those long-time listeners, first-time callers. Yeah, yeah. I love everything you do on your show. I really haven't missed yeah. one in the last couple of years, but I'm really having a problem. Okay. And that problem is one of my good friends, she always keeps constantly giving me snake eyes. And how do I tell her to knock it off? You punch that bitch Thanks, in the Brad. fucking mouth. That's what you do. No, just kidding. Don't do that. I think you should wink your butthole at her. That'll show dominance over her. So do that. Wink your butthole at her. That'll take care of that. Uh, Roy, do Crystal Pepsi pranks. I know it won't be back until like 20, 30, whatever. But okay. Didn't I do some of those already? Yeah, this sucks. Never mind. Oh, okay. I'll delete this voicemail. I won't put it in the show. But Crystal Pepsi, it's still around. I still see it in the stores all the time. Not just a couple of stores. It seems to be back all the time, everywhere. I think it's just kind of back now. Either that or it's just not selling, so it's just sitting there forever. But I'm pretty sure we did some pranks where we said that we accidentally sent them Crystal Pepsi from the 80s. Take it off the shelves immediately. Either that or I planned to do that and I never got around to it. I can't remember. Hey, Brad. This is Jib. I'm hey, just calling because Jim. I work a really shitty job and your show, when a new episode comes out, 
It makes me really happy. Oh, so thanks. I appreciate welcome. it. I'm glad I'm making your shitty job more bearable. Do the voicemails make you happy? Or are you just like, fuck the voicemails? Do they piss you off? I know a lot of people hate the voicemails. I don't understand why. I love the voicemails. The voicemails are my favorite part of the show. But whatever. It looks like that was the last voicemail. So the show's over now. Thanks everyone for listening. And thank you to the sponsors, Brown Magic, Gobi, high school graduate, Lord and Lady of Veggies, and Sean L. They're the supporters of today's show. And if you'd like to be a supporter, I would appreciate that. It's patreon.com slash phone losers. Get extra shows and shows early and... It's completely worth the $5 a month. Not a ripoff at all. $10 a month. Get your name on at least one YouTube video every month. And $20 a month makes you the sponsor of a snowplow show. Usually once a month. Sometimes every other month. Okay, I said I was going to play that XYZ prank call. And it looks like that was a 2016 episode. It was the January 1st. 2016. I listened to that show because the title was funny. It's called There Is Smoke Coming Out, and I guessed that that was related to a lunk alarm because those things aren't made to run for much longer than a minute or so. So let's see if I can open this up and try and find where it was. I remember it was kind of near the end. The time has come. Uh, here, we, here we go with the, the Star Trek intro. XYZ and his Star Trek. Oh, okay. right now for you. There it is going off. Perfect. Hey, what's going on? Hey, nothing much, man. You know, just testing lunk alarms and stuff. Happy New Year, by the way. Hey, Happy New Year, Aki, man. Thanks. You too. I can't, yeah. I can't believe those people are so fucking gullible. <laughs> he went right for it. <laughs> this is back in the day when um, XYZ still had guests on his show. Dude, Aww. especially when... They sent out a memo like four months ago. Did they? Yeah, they Which sent out that people? memo, and they're already they're already up to it again. I'm I'm testing security. Your palette fitness should be paying me for this. This is a really long you call, by the way. Alarm? It's at okay. least ten minutes long. You want to be a lunkhead? All right. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> you, I heard your sigh. Okay. Get ready for this. It's this gonna be crazy. Can't wait. Thank you, Palant Fitness. Is that gonna help you? Oh, yeah, good afternoon. This is Rick Johnson from the Planet Fitness Corporate Office. How are you? Happy New Year. Good. Happy New Year. How are you doing? Uh, I'm not too bad. Listen, we're just doing some maintenance here. We just had a big New Year's promotion. We had the big thing in Times Square. and expecting an upkeep and customers coming in there, so we're just doing some uh, testing with the Lunk Alarm Systems. The Alarm Systems? Okay. Lunk alarm. Um, so we just need you. To go, we just need you first before we do that. I need to do a quick diagnostic. So can you do a quick turn it on for like five seconds and turn it off real quick? And I just want to check on my computer over here to see if it's working properly. Okay, and then me, um, I'll give you. A, okay, give me one second, please. Sure. I'm gonna grab the manager for you real quick. All right. All right. Make sure he's testing lunk alarms, not not the actual alarm system. Yeah, I think he thank might have you. It. Thank you for that X Y Z. Because he doesn't, he didn't hear you. Yes, hello. Yes. Yes, the manager's doing a tour right now. Um, I'm about to put you on All hold. Right, if that's, that's okay with you. No, that's okay. It's just, it's just, you need to turn on on the local arm for like five seconds. I just need to do a quick diagnostic, just like somebody's dropping the weight. That's all. Okay. All right, give me two seconds. I'll do that for you. Thanks. No, five seconds. Not two seconds. So the great thing about this one is that the manager is doing a tour right now, which means she's showing new potential people around the gym. Right, we're hitting it right now for you. Perfect. All right, how long you need for? Um, uh, what are you... Here, do it the, uh, between five and ten how seconds. How does he believe this? Five and ten seconds. Five to ten. Yep. Alright, it's going for you right now. So while the manager is giving a tour, this is happening. Did that work for you? Um, yeah, I'm going to patch you through to my colleague. Chris is going to let you know exactly the results of that test. Thank you so much. Chris, right, you thank there? You. Yep, hi, this is Chris. Uh, how are you doing, sir, today? Happy New Year, Good. first of all. Happy New Year. Yeah, thank you. Chris Baltar. Um, so, I looked at the test, and it seems that um, there was some indications of stress on your lung alarm. I'm not sure if you guys have been using it a lot. So, we're going to do a quick stress test real quick to verify these results. It it's just no a one-minute hold on the lung alarm. And if it's 
is still running after a minute, then you guys don't need a replacement. But if it gives out or it wavers a bit, then we'll send out a new one uh, for you guys immediately. Okay, so it's going to turn off in a minute? Yeah, it should automatically shut off in a minute. Okay. okay. Alrighty. Do you need me to man manually do it or it's going to do it from you guys? Uh, you, you're going to need to do it manually. We don't have uh, electronic you want me to you want me to hold it for a minute then? <laughs> yeah, just for a minute. have remote access? It should automatically okay. shut off. To the lunk alarm. Minute, so. Alrighty. Let me get... Someone to... He's got to get someone else to do it. Give me two seconds. Everyone just walked away. No, it's okay. No problem. All right. <laughs> they sometimes need to get back to work, I guess. All right. Here we go. You ready? Okay. I'm ready. All righty. All right. It's going. Oh, yeah. So for those who How don't know... How loud do you think that is? It's pretty loud. Yeah? We're at the front, and it's in the back, so... Oh, yeah. In case you're unfamiliar with the Lunk Alarm, I feel like I have to explain this every single time for new listeners, just in case, because they might be confused. They might think we're setting off fire alarms or security alarms or something like that. No, at Planet Fitness, they have a thing called a Lunk Alarm. And if an employee determines that you are acting like a Lunk, then they will set off this alarm to embarrass you and to shame you in front of all of the other gym members. They can't just walk over there and say, excuse me, sir, please don't drop the weights like that. You know, like you're a human or something. Instead, they need to use negative reinforcement in the form of an air raid siren. Under it would probably be... That, yeah, probably that, that makes sense, <laughs> right? It's pretty funny if you think about it. It is. We won't say that in front of the employees, the um, customers, but... <laughs> they need it for a minute on. That's probably the manager coming back from her tour. Like, what the hell? Yeah, we got about 15 seconds left. <laughs> the manager's wondering what's going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but just let her know it's for the uh, standard lunk alarm test. And yeah. It's supposed to turn off by itself? Yeah, it should turn off by itself. Oh, I should have timed it. All right, still going. Um, let's see. Hopefully the failsafe hasn't broken. Let's see. Has the failsafe kicked in yet? Nope, still going. No? I ask your manager if they removed the governor from the lunk alarm. <laughs> the governor. Okay. Let me grab her real quick. Alright, All right. keep it running still? Yeah, keep it running though. Okay. So I had 45 seconds. Um, I looked at the waveform, it looked like about 45 seconds. I don't know who's hitting touch tones. Have you removed the governor from the alarm? <laughs> removed the governor. No, she hasn't. She didn't remove the governor, so does she know why the failsafe isn't working then? What's that? Ask her why the failsafe isn't working. Yeah, ask her why the failsafe working. Is the failsafe working? She, not she knows of. No? Okay. One minute and 45 seconds. Um, could you get her to go over there and see if there's something up with it? Like, if there's something Here, blocking... I'm gonna give you to her right now, and whatever she needs, I'll go handle it. Okay, okay? alright. Alright, here she is. Two minutes. Hi, this is Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. Could you have him go over there and figure out, like, why the failsafe hasn't kicked in on the lung alarm? Because it's supposed to automatically stop after a minute. Why it hasn't what? Why hasn't the lung alarm stopped? Because it's supposed to stop after a minute automatically. Oh, okay. So do you want us to just unplug it, or...? Um, well, I think just look, go have him look at it real quick. Just make, while it's running, to see what's blocking the, the governor from working. Okay, is that, is the governor found on the back? Yeah, it should be on the back, but it's got to be on, because that's when it's, it's exposed. Okay, yep. all right, he's going to have to get a ladder, so it'll just be one second here. All right, that's okay. They're getting a ladder, you guys. <laughs> Two minutes and 45 seconds now. I think she's covering the... F I'm going to put you on hold for just goes. one second. Okay. <laughs> she said, if anybody asks, something, something. We're past three minutes now. This is cool. Maybe I shouldn't have him. 
mess with the lung alarm. Three like, and a half I don't minutes. Know if that, how loud that is in real life. Oh yeah, X Y Z is worried about their he hearing. Needs a person to hold the ladder too. We got to be careful. He's worried about someone falling off the ladder. He's such a responsible prank caller. Good old X Y Z. I miss him. I hope he joins us for Thanksgiving. Any second now, it's just going to explode. It's going to explode into a million tiny pieces. Shrapnel's going to hit all the customers. Yeah. I can't even contact them. <laughs> I can't even... <laughs> I can't even get them to stop it now because they won't... They put the phone down. <laughs> My God. This is horrible. This is the manager? This is the fucking manager. <laughs> Teehee. Oh my God. This is a very, very happy new year to Planet Fitness. <laughs> Happy 2016, everyone. It's not Y2K compliant. That's why it's... You're now at five minutes. I'll tell her that. (laughs) Sounds like she's explaining things to the customers. Oh, my God. (laughs) It's horrible. I feel bad now. No, I got. I got to go. Oh come on, X Y Z. To fully compliant. They. I can't believe this. They sent a memo it's, for. They should feel bad for having a lunk alarm in the first place. How long has it been going on? Ten minutes. It's been six Around minutes. X Y Z. The Japanese are coming. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, five minutes and 45 seconds. I should have them six. yell at the end. This was a test of the lunk alarm readiness. <laughs> <laughs> now it's six minutes. This is horrible. What's wrong with me? XYZ just wants to hang up. Epic. <laughs> I don't even care if they hear it now. Like, I, I kind of hope they do so they stop before this burns out. I don't want it to burn out. I'd feel a little bad then. We've are you heard- still here? Yeah, hi. How are you? Okay. Um, it, good. Well, so what's going on? What's the situation? So it's overheating and it's blowing out smoke now, so we got to get it turned off. Yeah, turn off. that off immediately, please. Yeah, we... Okay. It's blowing out smoke, you guys. Yeah. I didn't know the switch was working. Blowing out smoke. Why, okay, why was it left for... If it was smoking, why did you guys leave it on? <laughs> what's that? If it, I didn't realize that I didn't know why it was on... That's okay. That's all right. Is, okay. is everyone is everyone okay? Yeah, everyone's fine. Right. I guess we we'll just have to. <laughs> Several you know, customers are on fire now. Well, next week. Yeah, definitely. Uh, could you just let everyone know real quick? Just yell out that it was a um uh that was just a test of the lunk alarm yeah. systems. Yeah, yeah, we'll let them know. So yeah. I think and, after this point, he actually gets some customers on the phone. Or here, let me I, I let it go make, for another minute. Sure, I, wish was, them I was getting a, happy a tour, so I didn't know why it was on or anything. Yeah, just make sure to wish them uh, a happy new year as well. Okay. Okay, alrighty, thank you. Hey, thank you, have a good Aww. day. No, no Bye. surveys. <laughs> it was blowing out smoke! Damn it, XYZ. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so there you go, that's a Lunk Alarm prank that I really enjoyed from the XYZ archive that we're putting together over on Facebook. There's a link in the show notes for that. You know what, I said I was going to play that instead of music, but fuck it, this is my show, I'm going to play music. Bye everyone, here's some music. Long ago and far away in space there was a planet of people who this is the most unusual conversation i've ever had <laughs>